Yeah, thanks everybody somebody for coming. Uh, as we said at the first Paramania four years ago, it's great. Four it's years. Out. Four more years. Um, yes, definitely four more years. And many after that. Paramania great again. Quiet, quiet down. <laughs> Mappa. Mappa. Uh, uh, I just want to thank, uh, first, obviously, the Magnificent Seven, the folks who have been to all four Paramanias now, um, who've kept this tradition alive. You guys have a life love this whole thing. Who are they? Uh, they are Greg, Zach Farr, Zach Copley, Joshua Cutchin, uh, Carlos, Steve Ray, and myself. I believe that's the Magnificent Seven. Yeah, that's the, that's the complete group. Um, and they've done this now for the last, uh, and me, obviously. So, yeah, we've done this for the last four years. Um, and I regret it every minute. We're kind of we're kind of the lifeblood of this thing. We've kept it going, and uh, it's, it's become a brotherhood. And for all the new people that have joined us this year, I want to thank you so much. Um, what this is is a non-conference. This is the only conferency part of the weekend. Um, it is admittedly, I'll admit, my least favorite part because I enjoy, I enjoy, the, I enjoy the drinking and the celebrating and the eating. They go somewhere else. They lock me in. <laughs> so, uh, but it is, it is uh, the most conferency part of the weekend. And uh, as we said at the first Paramania, we say every year to folks who are thinking about coming or aren't sure, you know, what is this thing? Paramania is uh, a leap of faith. That's what it is. We don't know exactly what we're going to do. We have a skeletal idea, a plan, but things happen on a whim. They change on a whim. You know, we're going to do breakfast, and now we're going to go two hours later than we thought. This is not like a real conference. It's an unconference, and uh, it, it's become, sadly, I guess, in this sense, this year, it's become a brotherhood because we, we we've lost all our female members, but they'll they'll be back <laughs> for this. <year. laughs> yes, for this. Year. Except for Mrs. Cutch. Thank you. Yes. And, uh, and our, our guests, yes. Uh, but, uh, and, and everybody looks out for each other, and I, I think that's what I really love about uh, this weekend. It's, it's a chance for everybody to get together and, and sort of enjoy the best part of the conference. And everybody I've talked to over the years, uh, UFO researchers, Bigfoot researchers, ghost researchers, who go to these conferences, they always say, the best part of the conference is when you're at the bar after the conference. So we decided essentially to take the whole thing. Yeah, take the whole thing, take the whole yeah. conference, the bar part, and switch it around. So a little part, the little part is the actual conference. Okay. After the conference. Yeah. And, uh, and as I said, it's a leap of faith. So I, I really appreciate the folks who came down, like Ren, um, and my buddy there from Nebraska, big man from Nebraska, you know, who rolled the dice and were like, "All right, I've heard a lot. Of, I've heard a lot of crazy shit about this weekend. Okay, I've heard a lot of wild stories about this weekend, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to go, and I'm going to take the leap of faith. And I really appreciate it. And hopefully, uh, you know, it's paid off for you guys. Hopefully, it's been the weekend that you thought it could be." Um, and you know, I, I gotta say every year, you know, people come and they say they, they want to do it again. You know, they want to come back the next year. And some folks can't, some folks don't, some folks come back two years later. We got people come the first year and then they come the third year, you know. But once you're a paramaniac, you're always a paramaniac. You're part of this, Amen. this crazy family of uh, wayward travelers. So uh, I guess that's really about it. So thank you to everybody who's come this weekend. Big, huge, enormous thanks to Josh. Um, you know, he is our point man. He, he really did the work this year. And if not for him, you know, we'd probably just be hanging out with the kids all week. <laughs> so, so. You know, he's watching across the street. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, you know, he put in a lot of work to put together the best weekend. And I, I, God bless him. I love him so much, man. Yeah, all. I've just been apologizing left and sorry about this. No, dude, there's no need to apologize. You've done an yeah. awesome job. You know, you've done an amazing job. You're the perfect host. You know, you're just exactly what this this weekend needed, and I really appreciate it. Um, and so, with that, uh, you know, let the let the speaking begin. And you're gonna smoke and play video games, right? What's that? You're gonna smoke and play video no, games? No, I'm locked in. You're locked in. You have to. You have to. I go out and have a cigarette. The, the, the public starts coming in. That's what they told me. So. Okay, so <laughs> raise your hand if you're speaking. 
Raise your hand if you're speaking. We got Steve. Is that it? Oh, wow. One, two, three, three, four, three, four. Oh, we can talk for an hour. So that's not that bad. Uh, I do not want to go first because <coughs> who, who else here has a Bigfoot centric presentation? I figured I broke the ice by going through all that. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Who else here has a Bigfoot centric presentation? Okay. Okay. So somebody else goes first because I want to finish strong with the Bigfoot. Okay, Senator Brent. What if the Bigfoot story is the worst? You sure? Okay, awesome.